Hi folks and welcome back to another fly fishing video. The river you see behind me is far removed from the chalk stream of the River Avon. I'm on the Pierre Marquette in the state of Michigan in the United States of America and I'm going to be fishing for King Salmon. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I'm no salmon angler and I haven't come on my own. I've come with my friend Ian Pinder who has been here once before and he's kind of shown me the ropes today. Now in this first video of what will probably be a series of two or maybe even three videos, what I hope to do is explain how I got here, uh, what it's like coming from the UK to America, bits and bobs you need to do if you're planning a trip. The tackle you're going to require for catching these fish. Now, I brought a multitude of rods with me in the hope that I was going to get some trout fishing, but uh, after a day or so here, it's clear that the only thing on the card is the king salmon. So Ian and I are back on the Pierre Marquette, it was an early start this morning, 0500 hours was Ravalli and we got ourselves together and we got down the river. Now you arrive in the dark so if you're going to come for this kind of fishing a good head torch is essential and the reason you come this early is the river gets really busy. There's anglers every 20 metres or so and you get a small pocket to water to fish so if you get here early you get your choice of water. Now the other bit of advice I would give you is if you're coming from the UK bring lots of flies. Hooking the fish, as I've said previously, is very easy. Keeping a hold of them is a completely different matter. With the shot bot flies that we've had uh, have failed several times, so they've either bent out, uh, I've even had hooks breaking completely. So be wary of what you're buying in the shops. And they're not cheap, you can spend anything from $2.50 to up all the way up to six seven dollars so it does add up uh, and I'm gonna have to go back to the fly shop unfortunately because today's session I'm seven for naught so what do I mean by that I've hooked seven fish and I've not managed to land a one of them which is unusual usually I get sort of one to five before coming to the States, you will need to get an ESTA. This is like a visa in old money, and that gets you into the US. You will also need a state fishing license. So for the state of Michigan, I think it comes in around $45, and that entitles you to fish any river in the state. And Ian and I have already ventured out to other rivers. So, and again, you can purchase that online before you make your trip. Entry into the country via Detroit Airport was very easy. They've got a pretty fast and efficient service and they get you through customs fairly quickly. We hired our car through Enterprise. Uh, well, I say we, Ian hired the car through Enterprise. He finds it the most cheapest and efficient way of booking a car here in the US. Now, we did get a big vehicle. It's a Jeep and 
I'm not sure you really need the off-road capability. The roads here are pretty good, certainly down to the Pierre Marquette. The fuel's much cheaper than it is in the UK currently, so I'm hoping when you come to fill it up, it's not too shocking. So, you've come away, you've packed, you've done lots of preparation, you've done all your research on the internet, but I bet you a pound to a pinch of salt that you've forgotten something. Well, don't worry. Michigan's got you covered in the form of many tackle shops, so let's go and have a look at one of them right now. Okay then, let's talk about the considerations when travelling from the UK to the US in regards to the tackle you want to bring. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll see I've got uh, a number of different nets for various still water lock style and uh, my river fishing stuff. I've got two nets for river fishing. One's for my comp setup, which is a hard rimmed net for fast flowing water to net fish quickly. And the other one is one of the Glen Pointin living the dream catch and release nets. Now, unfortunately for traveling, the only one that fits in my bag is the Glen Pointing net. And after the first day, that was about as much use as a chocolate ashtray. So luckily enough, we asked the owner of the lodge if he had a spare net, and he's kindly lent us one of these, which is okay. But what I would say is, if you've got any friends in the US when you're traveling, it would be a good idea before you come to see if they've got a long-handled large net. These fish are enormous. So what I brought along with me is the Predator 9 foot for a 9 rod from Witchwood and I've coupled that with the Witchwood reel. I've cranked the drag up as hard as I can get it because these fish do tug. The line I've attached to the reel is an Airflow Weight Forward 9 floater, so it, it matches the rod beautifully and I've used this rod for fishing for pike and zander and it's coped no problem with pike up to 20 pounds. Now, the, as for the terminal tackle, there's a number of different ways of setting up and as I said at the start of the video, I'm no salmon angler. So if you know a better way than what I'm going to explain here, please let me know in the comments section. So, from the end of the fly line, I have between three and four feet of tippet, and that's at 30 pounds, and that's to a swivel. And on the end of the swivel, I've got another three to four foot of tippet, and that's 20 pounds. Now, attached to that, I have, it's just an orange bead, and I've attached my salmon fly, which on this occasion is a tube fly, I also have about four feet of tippet in 12 pound with a small egg fly on the end. So once the salmon fly has drifted through the salmon, which are clearly visible in the river, often at the back end, there'll be trout picking off the eggs. And uh, sometimes you can pick up a couple of trout with just a little egg fly at the end. So that's what I've rigged up with. Now my weight is quite interesting. So on the swivel, I've got a piece of uh, tippet material tied just with an overhand knot and on this occasion I've got one 
lead weight. I can add more weight depending on the depth of the pool I'm fishing. But you've got to get your flies to the bottom of the riverbed because that is where the salmon are. Oh, he's all over the pool, this one. Don't be too nice to him. 